patients were randomized uh, one to one uh, to receive either standard RVD uh, in a 21 day cycle uh, versus standard RVD plus uh, intravenous daratumumab. Uh, all patients uh, received four of these 21 day uh, uh, cycles of induction therapy. Um, and all patients then underwent uh, high dose therapy and autologous stem cell transplantation. Um, this was then followed uh, in both arms by two cycles of consolidation with whatever regimen the patients received as their induction therapy. So those in the DARA RVD arm got DARA RVD times two cycles as post-transplant consolidation, and those in the RVD arm got two cycles of RVD consolidation post-transplant. Um, this was then followed by maintenance therapy um, uh, with uh, either DARA plus REV in the original DARA RVD arm uh, for a total of two years of maintenance uh, versus Revlimid alone uh, in the patients in the RVD arm for a total of two years of maintenance. What we were reporting out at this year's, or last year's now, the 2021 ASH meeting uh, were the results observed in patients after two years of maintenance. And uh, what we observed there is that um, you know, looking at response rates at the end of consolidation versus uh, after one year of maintenance and two years of maintenance uh, therapy, responses continued to improve um, in both arms, but the depth of response remained greater um, in the patients who had received um, daratumumab as a component of their treatment from start and through maintenance. Uh, for example, um, after one year of maintenance therapy, the rate of um, complete response rate or better in the daratumumab treated patients was 80% uh, versus 60% in patients who did not receive daratumumab. Those results were not much different after two years of maintenance therapy. Um, in patients who received DARA, the rate of complete response rate or better was 82% after two years of maintenance versus 61%. But what was of great interest to us um, in this analysis uh, was the uh, assessment of minimal residual disease. Uh, minimal residual disease, as our um, audience is aware, is a very sensitive measure of uh, depth of response. In fact, with um, the next generation sequencing um, technique, uh, MRD uh, analysis is able to detect one cancer cell in a million cells, or one times ten to the uh, one times ten to the negative six. So. Um, an incredible level of sensitivity. And in that regard, the rates of MRD negativity um, or those patients who achieved an MRD negative state was considerably higher in patients who received daratumumab. That was true after consolidation, where the MRT negativity rate was 50% in patients who received dara versus 20% in patients who received uh, no daratumumab. After one year of maintenance, MRD negativity was 59% in DARA-treated patients versus 26% in patients who did not receive DARA. And after two years of maintenance, it was 64% MRD negativity rate in the DARA arm versus 30% um, in the patients who did not receive DARA. And as you can see, those MRD negative negativity rates continued to improve over time with ongoing maintenance therapy. And this translated very importantly uh, into a, um, uh, a difference in the uh, progression-free survival rate at three years from the start of treatment, which was uh, approximately 90%. This 90% of patients had not progressed or died who received daratumumab 
versus 81% in patients who did not receive daratumumab. So the addition of daratumumab did lead to improvement in depth of response, and uh, ultimately that um, led to improvement in terms of the duration of response as measured by progression-free survival.